What's going on, everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. Sucks. You know what else sucks though? Oh god, the fucking Hall of Fame. Look, I know that nobody, a lot of people take the Hall of Fame seriously, and then there's some people that take it too seriously. But since we get the class, we get the class of 2020 and 2021 going in, and now we have some good names: uh, Molly Holly, Eric Bischoff, and we had a rumor that we don't know if they confirmed it yet. Not maybe you know, Prime RVD. Paul Heyman. Pretty much, is, oh, pretty yeah. much well confirmed. Pretty much confirmed. Paul I mean, Heyman. Yeah. yeah. Paul Heyman took a picture talking about uh, he was given the hint, and he did the the RVD the thumbs. Okay. So, however, there is a Hall of Famer that, that they, they, we we got two names that was put in the Hall of Fame, which I think were. Great. Me personally, I'm like, why don't they ever announce them on the sports things no more? I remember TMZ breaks the news. It's like this this bump. I'm like, they have their they, own quote-unquote show that they can break the news on. I'm they say, want you to watch it. I'm like, me, per- they just first of all, in the middle has, has anybody though. watched The Bump at all? I actually do sometimes. I skip through it, but I, I watch how, it sometimes. I mean, I'm going to say, how, how is it? Is, it? is it a good show? Is it terrible? It's more, it's, it's more like a, it's more like talking smack a little bit, but with substance. With a little bit more substance of different people. I got you. Well, Kane gets it. I'm not going to even lie to you. I just watch it for Kane. So, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, look, we have to, Kane got, gets inducted to the Hall of Fame this year. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, we I'm, I, I'm well deserved because Kane. Well deserved. About time. Yeah, about time. Mary Kane is going in the Hall of Fame. It's funny. He's like, I don't know who's going to induct, but I'm like, bro, just get. It, you know, you try, it should be the Undertaker. Duh. Right, it should be Undertaker. But I was yeah, like, yeah. Undertaker, the one that uh, gave him a little speech. Exactly. So it should, he should be the one to induct him. But then we get another inductee. God, when when the twenty twenty one was looking all right, here we go, and we do one of the we set a new bar. They put in the Hall of Fame. I am not lying. The great Kali. Now I know a lot of y'all may be like. So what the fuck? We don't care about Hall of Fame anyway. But bruh, there is a level of pride I got. I gotta have. And the great Kali, I'm sorry, the man could barely walk. He was like the modern day giant Gonzalez. They gave him one world championship run, which sucked. And apparently that was enough. Yeah, I wonder what his Hall of Fame video package is gonna look like because there is no way they can make it look good. Because like he 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 came in dominant. Undertaker put him over Cena. Shawn Michaels, they all tried to put Great Khali over. He had that one championship matchup with John Cena at, at uh, what was it, back when it was One Night Stand, 2007, when he got, you know. At, I was there. You see, he was there? Yeah. Oh, okay. He, uh, he did a, the thing off the, uh, off the crane or whatever. Exactly, yeah, that, 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 that F you at that time, off, off the thing. So, uh, but that was it. And after that, he started going around. You know, doing the uh, Punjabi Playboy, kissing the Talia, and just doing all the dance. I was like, this shit is terrible. He couldn't walk no more. I, I hated it. And I'm like, God. <laughs> y'all really? I said, this is at the bottom of the barrel scraping. And in my personal opinion, this is the new bar. Because Coco Beware could at least wrestle. And Coco Beware had a couple of re- regional championships from different promotions that nobody cared about, but they were championships. Great colleague can't move. He can't, he, he's not great on the mic. He's not a good wrestler. His finishing move sucks. He he was just impressive to look at. And I'm like, how many big men that you had? I mean, because it's like, all right, here we go. Hall of Fame, Heidenreich, Snitsky, Vladimir Klozlov. All, all these men I'm mentioning are terrible. But yet, but yet, they still Jesus don't take Christ, the time. Heiden, right? When the last time you heard that name? Exactly. But yet they still don't take the time to put Vader in. 
So yes, I'm surprised they didn't put uh, Shad in or Luke Harper as the the warrior. Well, well, like I said, are, are, are we even? Because I was like, they didn't have a warrior award last year. I was like, but if they do a warrior a, a reward, it should be Shad. First off, they just gave an honor to Shad, Rocky Johnson, and Kamala at the NAACP Awards tonight. Oh really? Like, hey, I'll be honest with you. That thing started at nine thirty. I thought he was gonna say good night, folks. He's gonna say all the people that we lost this year. Good night, folks. Thirty minutes left. <laughs> Not even to be fun. I literally thought that's what they were doing. But it, but did you see it though, Brian? I saw that part. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, well, the, the rewards are pretty cool. Maxwell grew his hair back, so uh, it it, it was dope. But uh, yeah, they when they, they had an in memoriam, they at they at because you I rarely see a war shows uh, you know recognize. Rustlers, period. But you know, but once again, NWCP, they recognize all the people of color. So that we have lost, and uh, yeah, they, they put Rocky Johnson, Kamala, and Shad up there. And I thought that was nice. Yeah, that's very nice. I thought I thought, I thought that was uh, really good. With it ended with Chadwick, so yeah, I, it was. Um, it was the, it, it, it was it was it was a touching tribute stuff like that. But I'm like, yeah, if there's a Warrior Award, there's no way that Shad, Shad should not get. The Warrior War, but uh, this the great Kyle. I'm like sets, sets a new bar now, and I mean right right now, who who do we got? All, all we need is a tag team now, right, Prime? We got we got our women's wrestler. Uh, 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 yeah, women's uh, um, like a main a main stay. I guess you can call it. I yeah, don't know Kane, what you would consider great Kane Kyle. would be the nah. Kane would be the the big name, right? Yeah, yeah the headliner. Yeah, is Kane. Kali is a uh, who? I don't know what you. That? I don't know what you call him. Who's the dude that had that long ass speech last time? Billy Jim. Yeah, that's well, that's that's. Billy Jim was good. No, I'm just saying though, like that's that, because that's, I I don't know how to say it without yeah, making it sound offensive, yeah. but RVD the the uh the main. Oh yeah, Dan. Guy, okay, yeah. High, so card. All, all we need is a black and a tag team, right? Don't say sure. a black. Don't say that, a black. That's how. That's color, how you do it. Don't don't say a black though. Like that's yeah, a nasty. Yeah. Thing. It is. You right. I was. They gotta get a person of color, and they gotta get a tag team. And I, I'm thinking since they go, they're not gonna load it up because we still gotta do 2020. I think if they do a warrior award, give it to Shad. There you go. You got two birds out one stone, and they, they gotta find a way to put a tag team. Don't don't put no yeah. like headbangers. Because I see them doing some shit. I don't. I, I don't think there is no tag team stuff. I don't. I don't even know if there is. There is any left at the moment. I mean, probably exit. like one of the road warriors. Maybe I don't know. Well, I mean, with the road warriors in it already. Oh, oh, all right, never mind. So see, I mean, I, mean I, I honestly, what they can do is like you know. How I mean, you gonna say one of the road warriors and both of them? He <laughs> said. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to say one of the road warriors, but it just the sentence just came yeah. out. I'm sorry. Ayo Prime. Putting the filthy animals. Yeah. <laughs> put in uh, cold, put in Conan, Mysterio, and Kidman. Or put in uh, the gangsters. Yeah. Oh. And it's, it's also said that um, Batista said that obviously because uh, the, the, he's, he's filming was it either Thor four or Guardians of the Galaxy three. He's filming one of them, but he's in probably in both of them. That uh, he's not able, you know, the, the schedule on conflict because he's not in the United States right now. But uh, so he will accept his uh, Hall of Fame another time. So it's clear to say 2022 Batista will probably be the next headliner for that Hall of Fame. I, I me personally, I was just like, you could just still be in the Hall of Fame, just do your speech later. But you know, he 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 wanted to do it this way, so that's what it is. But yeah, yeah. Q, you got any thoughts on Greg Cully joining his Hall of Fame class? Or Hall of Fame period. Um, now nah, it's pretty random. It's pretty random. Uh, All the way. Does it feel forced? Kind of, but it is what it is, and we gotta deal with it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. How about you, Brian? I mean, look, I I don't know what what type of things Brett Kelly got of Pence doing something and compromising I don't know this man keeps coming back and doing these this man came back to the greatest Royal Rumble as if we cared like I don't know what 
I don't know, Mr. A and E. I'm I'm surprised you you got to see the great Kali live at the Punjabi prison. Yeah, you seen him climb. Oh. Not just walk, but climb. Yo, we see. I see him climb and stay there, and I was like. When I when I see him come out, I said, I know he ain't the great colleague. Don't get me wrong. He's massive in person. I was in the front row for that. He's massive. But I'm like, why is he here? First of all, to see him counting the steps to climb the, climb the side of uh, the prison and do absolutely nothing was stupid. Jinder Mahal the deserves picture, to be in the Hall of Fame the, for a great colleague, dude. The picture him and Jinder took afterwards, though, was like he was not trying to let go of that belt. Like, dude, so give Jinder his title, man. Get off the belt. <laughs> Look, I, 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 Honestly, like, like I said, I, I, I won't take Jinder Mahal over Greg Kali. I wouldn't be surprised if we get like Heath Slater and all them, and uh, eventually since they're doing this. I, I, look, I mean, like I said, we always make fun of the Coco Beware line, but I'm like, okay, you know, he had a character, whatever. He was a better wrestler, but when you put the Greg Kali in, I mean, I know they didn't care before, but this is truly. Like the like the low of the low point, and I'm like, well, th- whatever whatever dignity this class had, don't got it now. And first of all, they finally do get their Hall of Fame building or museum or whatever they're trying to do. What the hell do you put in there for the Great Khali? You put in the red tights. You you put in a replica of the pajamas. Runjin Singh. No, you put in a miniature Runjin Singh or. You get his football helmet from uh, the longest yard. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> why? So why is it uh, Umaga in the Hall of Fame? That's a good question. That's a very good question. That's a you know as you yeah. say that's a very good. Why is not Umaga in the Hall of Fame? Shit! Why is a three minute warning in the Hall of Fame? Uh, well, that is understandable. <laughs> he said that is understandable. I mean, yeah, they wasn't around long enough. But yes, when you say like, I mean, for, if you go put Greg Kali in there, well, you could put all the mid two thousand X in there. You could, yeah, you could definitely put Umaga in there. Yeah, Umaga was actually good, and, you know. exactly. But I, I'm still stuck on this tag team. Like, I really can't. Think. I really look. I'm, I'm telling stumped. you, if it's going to be a tag team, it's going to be somebody like one of the attitude era tag team that nobody nobody cares about, such as. Headbangers or Kai and Tai. Oh, it's gonna be uh, uh, it's gonna oh be the God. Rock and Sock connection. Nah, what's the Stephen Richards team? Right to censor. Yeah. Oh, stop it! Stop. I can see it being like Stephen Richards, Good Father. Wasn't Molly Holly part of some like cult type of tag team? Her and Hurricane. Oh yeah. gosh, she was with the Hurricane. I forgot. Yeah. But even though I might be thinking of Victoria. When, when you got names like Ken Shamrock that could have gone to Hall of Fame, you know he's with Impact Wrestling right now. Or when you have uh just just Is I, Raven in the Hall of Fame? Who? Raven. No Raven is not a Hall of Fame. First of all, I, I figure R V D would be the first ECW guy to go in there, then it would be Taz. But then after that, it's like okay. I mean, Taz. You don't think Taz is gonna be in the Hall of Fame? You don't think Taz is I don't think- I think Taz would be in the Hall of Fame, and I don't think he'd be the second one after RVD. I, Who do you I, think going before RVD? You know, Tommy Dreamer is is easy. Oh, you know they yeah, gonna put yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're no, right for sure. So right. he wasn't the first one. Fair. Okay, you're right. You fair. You're right. Uh, as long as it ain't I, New Jack. I, I say, okay, Tommy Dreamer. As then, long then, as it ain't New Jack. Jack. New Jack will never uh, touch. This man ain't even sniffing. There's gonna be. New Jack will never touch any kind of fame, anything, Hall of Fame or nothing. I mean, he may go you know, to Hall of Fame for having one of the best shows of Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, I was going to say the Murderer Hall of Fame. Yeah, the mur- yeah. Exactly. But other than that. Oh, that- well, all right. I know he hates the WWE. What did they do to Steiner for this? I mean, I would like that because with Big Power Pump, you know, it- he talked about how much he don't like the Hall of Fame until he gets that call. He hates. I about to say. Nah, it could- I think he turned it down because... They it kind of makes sense with his uh with Rick Steiner's son in the performance center. It kind of makes a little bit of okay. I mean, me personally, I would mind when the, the Steiner brothers. Even though I think the Steiner brothers and uh, Scott Steiner by himself both, you know, yeah, no, he Scott, be on Steiner definitely is definitely going in there by himself. Yeah, he deserves to be going in by himself. But when it comes to the Steiner brothers, yeah, I definitely agree that the Steiner brothers should uh. You know, should, should go in there, but once again, you know, will will they do? Will get make that call and do that? Probably, probably not. Probably not. You know, what I'm saying just, but out of all the different different tattoos, probably not. 
Maybe, maybe you, know, you can put Bart Gunn in there. Why not? You got not that about Butterbean. Give him a favor. I mean, like, why yeah. not? You know, uh, you can't you can't do D'Lo and Mark Henry because that uh, that wasn't a good enough tag. It's team. gonna be uh. But they can do the whole thing then. Nah, they gonna do that next be, year. They gonna do a. I'm about to say if, if you do the Nation, first of all, I think the like just just like Triple H, the Rock needs to be in there first before the Nation go in there. So Triple H ain't in there. He, in my opinion, he should have went in there first before DX went in there. But I was like, all right, well, you know, they gave him his moment with DX at the end, at the, the Hall of Fame two years ago. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said, if they do they go tag team, I, I, for, after putting Greg Khali in, I automatically see it being the headbangers. First of all, Triple H, Vince is going to make Triple H call whoever's available. Just call somebody that we're not mad at. Or they start trying to sue us, and if they be like, "Sure, I'll accept." It's not trying to sue us. Yeah, you know, or, and I try, yeah, uh, if you can't find him, Khali, put Mark Barrow in there. The great Kali, when they announced him that night, he was on the plane to, to uh, Tampa. That day. That day, he he, he coming. Where? He get his ring. And then first of all, it's just gonna be hate. First, of all, I don't know who's gonna put him in there. And second of all, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like, yeah, you deserve it's it. It's gonna be gender. It's gonna be gender. Where yeah, gender at? was his uh, quote unquote uh, stepbrother. He was, oh God, that storyline. All right, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the storyline? <laughs> the storyline when he first, when Jenna first came in, is that he was rich and he was dating step, Great Khali's stepsister. I mean, Great Khali's sister. And he was, he was threatening Great Khali to be on his side or he'll break up with his sister. Wow. Yeah, that was a that was an actual storyline. Yeah. 